Hook plays nicely with a selection of different personal information managers as well. One of those is DevonThink3, a very popular information management system by Devon Technologies. Now here I have a database called Research and Study and within there there is a group or folder called My Raw Research Notes. And in here I'm going to keep all of my raw notes that I take on particular subjects. I've got a document here for my hook keyboard commands and one that shows the different hook features. Now if I switch across to Safari, I'm going to take some notes on how to automate with hook. So rather than create the notes file within DevonThink itself, which of course I could do, I can actually create it from hook and at the same time by doing that, I can link it bi-directionally to this web page so that they're always linked together. Now I'll invoke hook with my keyboard shortcut. I'll open the title menu and select hook to new. And here we have a list of different applications that Hook can interface with and create a new text note. So DevonThink is right near the top here. I'll select it. And here is our new DevonThink note. And its title is the name of the web page that we were on. So I'll just drop in some text here. And then I'll close it, being sure to save, of course. And if I switch across to my global inbox in DevonThink, sure enough, there is my new notes file. Now I'll drag it across into the group or folder that I'm keeping the other notes in. And let me just go to it manually now. And there it is. And if I invoke hook over it now with the keyboard shortcut, we can see that it has a link directly back to the web page and I can access it by pressing return. And as it's a bi-directional link, I can do exactly the same from the web page. I'll bring up hook. There's my DevonThink note with the unique DevonThink URL. I'll press enter and back across to the note. Now being able to hook directly into DevonThink gives lots of options for joining files together that aren't in the DevonThink ecosystem. I'll just bring up Finder and here we have a small mind map that lists all of the areas of hook that I'd like to study and I can tick them off as I complete them. Now I can hook or link this mind map directly to that notes file in DevonThink. I'll simply select it, bring up hook, now I'll bring up the title menu again and select copy link. Now I'll bring up hook when the notes file is selected and I'm going to press command and V to paste that copied link and hook those files together. Now when I invoke hook, we can see that the notes file is linked to both the website that has the information I want to gather and the mind map in case I need to open it and sign off that this research has been completed. I don't need to look for either of them. I can hook any other files that I think are relevant here as well, whether they are outside of DevonThink or inside. Now this doesn't work with all personal information managers. If you need to see which ones are compatible, in fact, if you need to see any application that is compatible with Hook, navigate to the features page on Hook's site and select linkable apps. Or of course, you can hook to this page from somewhere on your Mac to make sure you never have to search for it again. Then all of the apps are split into different sections. I'll just scroll down to the information managers. And there they are. And that's the list at the time of recording, which is early 2021. But keep checking back because we're working hard to increase the already impressive number of applications that we can interface with.